Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to get the list of the tables without primary key constraint in SQL Server database. So let's open SSMS and take a look. Here, I'm going to use two system views. One is a information underscore schema dot tables, and the other one is information underscore schema dot table constraints. So you can see that from first query, I can get all the table names. So here is the database name table schema and table name and table type. I'm not interested in the views because we are we do not create the, the primary key on the views. We create the primary key on the tables. So you see that I have filtered these records by using table underscore type is equal to base table. Now second part of the query that I'm going to use is the table underscore constraint view. So if I select and I can show you that here I have the information such as it tells me okay it is a primary key or foreign key or check constraint it also gives me table catalog that's a database table schema and table name so somehow I can kind of compare these values with my uh, information underscore schema and dot tables query and uh, get the results so you see that I'm selecting a select table underscore catalog as a database name so I alias this uh, uh, table underscore catalog as the database name here I don't want to alias so it will return me table underscore schema and uh, this one if I would like to alias I can alias as a table name so I simply remove the underscore from information schema dot tables so it is going to return me all the tables next part as I'm interested to filter the records and only want to get the table where primary key does not exist so I can use a where clause and use a not exist clause and say select one or select asterisk doesn't really matter here whatever the columns you are selecting here or even st uh, some static value or constant value because uh, these conditions are going to play important role so we are saying select one from information schema dot table constraint and I give uh, alias as a C so here uh, the outer query where we are using information schema dot table I have alias this one T so what we are doing here then we have where condition and we are saying okay just give me the records of where uh, constraint type is primary key so you see that here this is going to get all these uh, records uh, and then what we are doing we are saying C dot table name is equal to t dot table name so as uh, this is our outer query and this is our inner queries uh, view so we are joining on them and we are saying c dot table schema is the t dot uh, table schema so what happened we in uh, writing in this way is uh, we are telling uh, give me everything uh, from outer query that does not exist uh, in the uh, inner query but depending upon these two conditions uh, so you are going to filter for all the records for primary key and then check uh, if the table name match uh, the outer table name matches with the inner table name and uh, the inner uh, uh, table schema matches with the outer table schema so if that does match don't give me that record but if it does not match give me all those uh, records uh, so you see that we are, uh, the outer query is going to return us every record uh, that uh, does not match uh, with the inner query results so if we run this query we get the results and you see that we get the database name we get the table name and we get the schema name now the same query can be used in a different way if we are interested to get all the tables which has the primary key so instead of say not exist if we say exists exists that means uh, give me everything from outer query that uh, does exist uh, here so you see that if uh, there is a table that has a primary key and uh, that schema does match uh, so we are going to return that value so if i run this uh, you can see it returned me table uh, database name table schema and table name let's go and take a look uh, here is customer table and it has primary key fine that's great and here is customer one and go to columns and we see that uh, there is a composite uh, primary key that means uh, uh, mo more columns are involved in primary key so we have created a primary key on F name and, and SSN together now again we can use uh, not exist as our goal is uh, to get all the tables uh, which uh, do not have a primary key so that's uh, result is going to that query is going to return us that so you can see that we do not have customer here 
and if you have a customer here you see that this is in different schema this is in TB schema so TB schema if we go there this does not contain uh, the primary key so by using this query you can get uh, all the tables without a uh, primary key and small changes by if you remove the not part you will get all the tables with the primary key so i hope uh, you learned something good stuff from here and how to use uh, not exists uh, and exists uh, to get the records uh, from your outer query depending upon the condition you would like um, thanks very much and i would see you in the next video